My secret party trick. Um, I've got a few. Uh, it depends how drunk I am. None of them are very, very good. I do quite a good impression of Chewbacca. Can I, can I do tuna sweet corn? My most used emoji is probably that cheeky wry smile one. That one. Uh, absolutely nothing. Oh, fingers as long as arms. Definitely. Oh, I love first dates. I love first dates. I also love Bake Off. And I love Celebrity Juice. That's not really a reality show, but Bake Off. Bake Off and first dates. I don't do jokes. I actually, when people say they're going to tell me a joke, I sort of begin to take an instant dislike to them because I just don't think jokes are funny. There is a scene where he and I kind of first sort of decide that we're friends and it's before we go off to this party and it's quite a tender little scene and I really, really love that. We shot that quite early on and it was within the first couple of weeks and I think that's when sort of when Jamie and I started connecting as well. He's just an awesome, awesome guy. I, I've loved spending time with him and he's super, super committed and super passionate and great in the movie. And I mean, we live on opposite sides of the planet, but you know, when I do see him through work, it's always a joy. I did a lot of training with a guy called Lars Anderson, whose whole thing is that he can fire a lot of arrows very, very quickly. Allegedly, it's based on, a, on, a, on an actual type of historical archery. I know some people don't agree with that, and I don't know or particularly care, to be honest, but I think it looks very, very cool, and it's very, very impressive. It's quite a cinematic type of combat. It looks and feels very frenetic and quick and, and quite modern. I think it was a, quite an inspired move on Otto's part to get him to train me and for us to incorporate that into our film. Do you know one thing that is quite hard? Is if you've got a scene where you've got to eat a lot, you have to do it all day. There's a scene in the film I just shot where I was eating ice cream in a fancy hotel. I think I must have consumed somewhere between six and eight pints of ice cream over the course of the day. Like, like so much. But because I'm such a greedy glutton, I quite enjoyed it. So I suppose that's quite a good skill. I can eat for the UK. I'm gonna say this actually, I probably shouldn't say, but that scene, that topless scene, was a reshoot. We shot that in January and, and we had to come back and I had to redo it with five weeks notice. And I'm a bit gutted by it actually because I don't look as good as I did the first time around because when you finish a movie, you go off and eat eight pints of ice cream. So I look okay, but it's certainly not the best I've looked with my top off. I have never really had an issue with getting my clothes off regardless of how I look. I've always been a bit like that. And I guess that's just me being quite lucky. I mean, I think there have been times in my life where I've had body confidence issues, but but generally I quite relish the liberation of it. I'm pretty undressed quite a lot in Rocket Man as well. But I think one of the really thing, important things I've, I, like bits of wisdom I've garnered through my 20s, is that like, that quite often when you think people are looking at you, they're worrying about themselves. And I think that's quite a good one to remember. Your anxieties about things, it's, it's highly unlikely that anyone else is aware, even aware of it. So, so that's quite a good, th good thing to remember to keep in perspective. I think the film feels like something that the gay community especially can really take ownership of. I really threw myself into it. I filmed my first sex scene for this film and it's with a oh, guy well known. Man. I feel that the movie we've shot is absolutely a celebration of everything that Elton John is and part of that is his sexuality. And I think when it comes out, I actually think the gay community will be quite surprised by quite how quite how gay it feels. I've loved every second of it. I'm not someone who is remotely perturbed by male intimacy, and I'm quite proud of what we've done in it. We really went to some places with it. I don't think it's not, I, um, no, I don't think so. Sorry, it's not something that I think I would be immediately drawn to. At <laughs> least of all because Jamie Dornan's done it, and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to step in it. I mean, he's pretty, he's pretty hot, isn't he? I know the battles I can win, and I know the battles I, I, I'm gonna lose. And I, I, and I think if it's a battle of hotness with Jamie Dornan, I, I'm gonna give it some space and step out the ring, I think, because he's, he's pretty lush.